Okay, hey guys, um, it is me, uh, Jimmy, and I'm here to do a review of uh, another knife. Uh, this one's called uh, the Snake Eye Tactical Outdoor Rescue. So you can see Tactical Outdoor um, Re Rescue. So this one I got on Amazon. It's about 20 bucks. I'm sure you could probably find it cheaper somewhere if you really looked, but uh, I think it's a pretty good deal. I mean, I haven't done the review yet, so I guess we'll find out. But uh, it just came in the mail, so I'm super, super excited to show you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and just inspect the box real quick. So it's black. Um, and uh, yeah, so I mean, it's got a little uh, barcode here. It's uh, made in China. So I'm not entirely sure if that's just the barcode that's made in China or if um, the whole box is made in China. Uh, or it could be the knife as well. I'm not sure. But uh, I guess we, we might be able to find that out. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and try and open this real quick. Okay, so the box slides off uh, relatively easily. Um, inside here, you can see that the, the cardboard's not actually black. Um, it looks like they've painted it. Uh, or yeah, it looks like yeah, or maybe a wrapping that's on on here, but um, it is made of cardboard, which is really nice. I know a lot of boxes these days aren't, so um, that's a, that's a really nice touch. That I'm I'm, I'm surprised it's such a, a cheap knife that it would do that, um, but you know it's the small details that matter, right? Oh, I, I missed that. There's a little uh, TM here. Not sure what that stands for. Maybe a uh, totally manly, um, I think. Um, so we're going to go ahead and look inside here now. Um, it looks like they put some sort of wrapping on the knife itself. Um, feels good. Um, feels nice and plasticky. Um, but not rough, like not coarse plastic. It's not bubble wrap. Um, I wish it was bubble wrap, but no. Um, so the knife kind of, if you notice, that'll do that again here. Um, the knife slides out relatively easy if you just grab it by the plastic. So that's, that's a nice little touch. It looks like the, the engineers put a lot of effort into how you actually experience the knife for the first time, right? Which is so important when purchasing um, a cheap knife on Amazon. So we're just going to pull it out here. Um, yeah, you can see yeah, they did it again. It, it, is, it is cardboard. They've painted this black. Um, yeah, that's okay. We'll save that for later. Um, okay, now taking a look at the knife itself. Oh, it looks like it slides out relatively easy here. So I'll just show you that kind of comes out. Yeah, that's, I like that. That was a nice motion. Um, it does seem to be difficult to put it back into the plastic. Um, I'll just show, I'll just try it just for the sake of this. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I mean, what was that? Maybe like five seconds putting it back in the plastic? Um, so that's not too bad. Ooh, it does look like that it's, it's ripping right here. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. Um, it's odd for a knife to be able to break through plastic like that without the knife actually being open. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but let's go ahead and slide this out again. Okay, yeah, we'll save that too. Okay, so here is the knife. Um, it's black as well. It feels good. It's, it's not too heavy. Um, I do think it looks like a knife. I mean, I was hoping that when I, when I ordered it. Um, here, because it is a tactical knife, this is great um, for breaking windows, apparently. Um, it actually says it's a, it's a windshield for the windshield, I think. Um, you're supposed to break your windshield if you need to, so that's nice. Um, this is a seatbelt cutter. Um, which I think is a lot easier than actually just unclicking your seatbelt. So you can just kind of just rip the seatbelt um, each time you're getting on the car. Uh, I guess you could only do it once, but I mean, that one time, I'm sure it works really well. Um, I guess let's go ahead and try and open this. Wow. Okay, so it is a knife. It's really nice. Um, it looks like, uh, oh, I don't know what that is. If you can see that real close. It does feel like forged steel. Um, it might actually be unobtainium, which is what Wolverine is made out of, if I'm not mistaken. That seems to be the common material for um, Amazon knives these days, is unobtainium. First production run. So this is actually is a limited edition, um, first edition, uh, one in a million sort of uh, knife. And uh, that's why I guess it was so cheap on, that, on uh, Amazon, is because they've only really made a few. And I was lucky enough uh, to get this as an early production model um, just for the purpose of this review. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and see how this closes. Okay, so yeah, you just kind of give a little, a little, little smack like that. Um, and it does seem to close relatively easily. Um, you have a really nice belt clip here. Um, I like to actually just put it right on my sock, um, right on my ankle. Like on my ankle, I just kind of slide it there. It seems to be the easiest way to grab it. Um, up next, I'm just gonna gonna do like a magic kind of cut right here, where I'm gonna show you what the the different types of things you can cut with this knife. Um, so just watch this magic. 
Okay, we're back. Um, I hope you like that little editing trick here. Um, so the first thing we're going to try and cut is uh, this reactor battery. I know that's something that a lot of people have been asking in the comments to see if this, this knife can actually do that. So let me be the first to try. Um, let's go ahead and slide that open again. Okay, we got it slid open. Um, let's go ahead and try and cut this down. I mean, the serrated part doesn't... Yeah, so I, I pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure this uh, this can't cut batteries. Um, so if that was something you were looking for in this knife, um, it definitely doesn't do that. Um, so let's go ahead and try something else a little bit more common. Okay, now we're gonna try and actually open a pack of batteries. Um, I had realized uh, now that you probably meant can it open a pack of batteries? So maybe that that that'll work. So let's let's give that a shot. Um, so I'm just gonna do a nice little surgical style incision here okay so you can see the top came off relatively easy the batteries are still not open though um, it does look like they're still kind of secure in here so let's uh let's try and give that another another little cut so just gonna go down the side here okay so i am struggling just a little bit but not too much okay there we go um, it does look like I can I can access the battery now. So let me just see if I can just slide in here. Okay, yeah, so I, w I was able to get a battery out. So if you were looking for this knife to open packages of batteries, um, it does work. I will say that it does not actually cut the batteries themselves, though. So I'm going to have to knock a point for that. Um, I guess uh, that's about it for this review. Um, thank you for watching. I'm glad I didn't cut, I don't know how to close this. Um, I'm glad I didn't cut myself. I know I did last time, but uh, I am Blade Runner 69 and I hope that you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let me know what knife you want me to review next in the comments.